it's Alyssa from Rome Wise, your go-to guide to Rome, and today we are going to talk about Rome in February. Today is Valentine's Day, February 14th. Obviously, not all of visiting Rome in February is around Valentine's Day, but I have a whole bunch of Valentine's Day posts up on the website, and I'm here to tell you what you can expect when you come visit Rome in February. Ready? Here we go. It's February. I am here in Vatican Square, otherwise known as Piazza San Pietro. It's one of my favorite places to come year-round. Uh, in February, yes, it's crowded. Not like you're gonna find in really high season, but you can see there are some crowds. Okay, so this is the line to get into St. Peter's Basilica. There is the um, security section over there, and of course there is the basilica. So the line is for security only. I mean, basically, you don't have to pay to get in. You just have to go through security. Here you can kind of see people moving. The line moves. This line, as you see it right here, is about 15, 20 minutes. It's not that bad, but um, you just have to know that you, you will have to wait in a little bit of a line, even in low season, even in February, even um, when you think, you know, it should be quiet late afternoon. It's 5 o'clock. Um, on a weekend in February and the weekends are busier Italians like to come out and sightsee and people come from nearby and when the weather's so beautiful like it is today it's warm-ish in the 60s you can expect to find Rome more crowded than than you might hope so just be prepared don't let it throw you off just be prepared I'm here at the Colosseum. There's the queue, and look at these crowds. It is a mob scene here. Middle of February, and it's like a day in May. It's packed, 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 packed to the walls. And it uh, doesn't feel like a February day, weather-wise or crowd-wise. So, again, if you're thinking of coming to Rome in February to avoid the crowds, that should not be your primary reason for coming in February. It's a little bit less crowded than it is in, say, May, but not by much, not anymore. So guys, this is one more February food to talk about, which are these castagnole and the frappe. You see the little fried dough? They're both versions of fried dough. The frappe are crunchy, and the castagnole are like sort of like donut holes, if you will. And this is definitely a winter, specifically February, it's all about carnival, and they are very yummy, and you're gonna find them all over. So, Rome in February, you see me bundled? I've got my scarf, my puffy coat, the usual. It's actually not very cold. I have no gloves on, I have no hat on. It's the middle of the day, but it's still not really cold. It's something like, I don't know, 14 degrees. It's about high six, well, mid 60s, I guess. Um, so it's just not that cold. And you'll find temperatures varying a lot all through February. So you will have some really, really cold nights, like below freezing, uh, below zero, and then some other nights that are just not so cold. And we also have had snow in February. Um, it's really rare, but it can happen. And we have had frozen fountains, yeah. When it gets really, really cold and those, and it lasts for like a few hours, the fountains that you, we have all over Rome, they freeze. Here we are at the Victorian monument. It's called the Complesso Vittoriano, named for Victor Emmanuel II, who was the first king of the unified Italy. This is him right there on the horse. This monument is huge. It's right in the center of Rome. Everybody calls it the wedding cake because it looks like a giant wedding cake, sort of. And we are headed up to uh, the inside and the back where they have a bar, by the way, a cafe. <laughs> And there's an elevator there. And for seven euros, or eight maybe, we'll find out, you can go all the way to the top of this monument. So check it out. This is where we're heading now. Gonna get the tickets and go up this elevator all the way to the top. It's winter now, so there are no crowds and no lines. Perfect. Just gonna buy a ticket here at the ticket booth.
Up here on the top of the Complesso Vittoriano, you have the most incredible views of Rome. So you can see 360 degrees. You can see all the monuments and you can see them from above. So on this side, we have got St. Peter's over there, Pantheon right in front of us. And if you look closely from in the background, you can see Castel Sant'Angelo. That's the Villa Corso. And just off to the right over here, you can see the Villa Medici, the top of the Spanish steps. And there's the Quirinal Palace, where the President of Italy lives. video about visiting Rome in February. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Please hit the like button below and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So we will see you at the next video. Ciao for now.